did you make it in? Flying time? Or Flying time. time. Well, elapsed Elap time. Elapsed time. 12 hours, 25 minutes. 25 minutes. How much yeah. faster is that from Lindbergh's time? Uh, two hours and... Two twenty-five. Two twenty-five. Two twenty-five. What was the flying time? still another couple of transatlantic flyers. Elgar Horis and Otto Hillig, the flying photographer from Liberty, New York. They're just going over for the fun of it, although Hillig's mother and sister are in Copenhagen, and he wants to say hello to them. They're traveling so thick and fast across the ocean that they'll soon need traffic cops to keep them in line. And the first thing you know, there'll be no parking signs all over the Atlantic. They've reached the old hometown by now, after a couple of landings in Germany, and we'll show you their reception as soon as the pictures get in from Denmark. Well, skål! These days are made up of one new sensation after another. Now a blimp has to tow your aquaplane if you want to be in the swim. That's a stunt that requires steel nerves. You can't control your lines the way you can with a boat. Watch him now. Look out, boy, that was close. They're taking some awful chances because the pilot of the blimp must keep his ship on an even keel. If he doesn't, well, you can see what'll happen. But they're carrying on. They can't be bothered worrying. They leave that to you and me. The blimp damaged a rudder in making a quick turn and you can see it trailing. That puts a different face on the matter because she can't sail smoothly. It all means a quick trip home before anything happens. And that's just what I'm going to do now. All records broken, the city of Chicago wings its way round and round the Sky Harbor Airport. Every additional hour now is a thrill to the thousands of spectators who are gathered at the field every day. It's no easy task, this refueling. There mustn't be any mistakes. Now we're in the refueling plane itself, with Kenneth down below receiving the precious cargo. We can see the ground far beneath us. At last, the gasoline is aboard, and whoop! The ships break contact. Here's nerve for you. Between him and the earth, there's a nice, comfortable nothing. He's looking over his motor. Good luck, boys. Hope you last another week, and then some. And this is Graham McNamee signing off as the Universal Newsreel talking reporter. Still going. Goodbye. mechanic up there. He's just finished fixing the starboard engine. Now he's coming back through the wing. No job for a fat man. The 
passengers are enjoying their last dance aboard. A bit of skylarking, we call it. Here's the control room. The boys at the throttle keep her at 102 miles speed while the navigators get their bearings. Now we're passing the Statue of Liberty. And there's the dear old chef mixing up powerful orangeade to let the passengers drink to Miss Liberty's health. Rose at mine hair. The farewell meal. Sandwiches and potato salad. It just goes to show that you can't live on air, even in the doughies. Now we're going up over Manhattan for a final look at the skyscrapers before returning to the battery. And back she comes, down the Hudson for a smooth landing and a hearty welcome from little old New York. <laughs>